Hello everyone, my name is uh, Asia Sanf. I'm a researcher at uh, Technalia and today I will be sharing with you some thoughts on solar energy applications uh, within the solar energy course uh, of CESAR project. Well, and what uh, will us learn uh, within this um, presentation. First of all, uh, we would like to introduce some solar energy applications focusing mainly on solar photovoltaics. After that, we will be sharing with you the AgriPV application issue where agriculture and photovoltaics are merged in one single concept. And finally, um, we'll be sharing with you some examples of uh, solar energy applications in Africa. Okay, so let's go with uh, the solar energy applications. Because um, traditionally, when, uh, when you are talking about solar energy, uh, the systems or the solutions are being classified in terms of uh, the kind of energy that uh, you are somehow being uh, producing. So here you can find the two different, big different groups. Um, so if you are producing uh, thermal energy um, using solar, you can be talking about uh, solar passive heating, you can be talking about uh, heating uh, a liquid, um, usually mainly water for, for, for producing uh, domestic hot water, but you can talk also about uh, heating uh, um, a liquid or even air for space uh, heating, uh, also for cooking or different kinds of applications. When talking about uh, solar uh, for producing electricity, you are usually mainly talking about uh, about using PV, so photovoltaic modules for, for producing this electricity, but uh, you can also be using uh, this uh, energy for producing electricity by means of uh, solar concentrated uh, um, uh, energy. Um, when talking about uh, just PV uh, solutions, uh, you could find in the right side the traditional uh, classification of solutions. So this is usually done um, uh, in terms of if it is off grid or it is connected to the grid. Um, right now, uh, this um, classification is still valid, but the presence of uh, uh, batteries for storing energy is not only a matter of a standalone system. So we could find grid connected solutions with uh, batteries. Within these uh, traditional classifications, uh, in the past we could find the, the conventional PV fields that you could see in the left side of the, um, the slide, and also small PV plants. Uh, this has been mainly uh, the application for PV in the past. But there are, as I was saying before, uh, different new PV applications where PV is not just uh, installed in a field, but uh, the PV is integrated in, in, in different kinds of applications. So um, here we can find, as, as, as we were commenting from the very beginning, uh, PV energy integrated in buildings, integrated in, in vehicles or in transport applications, train, buses, whatever. We could find also a PV integrated in different kinds of infrastructure solutions, 
uh, roads, um, um, whatever, okay? And there are two new, or almost new PV applications that are um, growing really rapidly. And those applications are uh, the agrophotovoltaics and the floating PV. Well, uh, one of the solar photovoltaic applications uh, we wanted to highlight uh, today is the agri-PV, the agro-PV also, agrovoltaics um, a concept. But it's basically uh, the combination of uh, photovoltaics and agricultural uh, uses in the same uh, piece of land within the uh, infographics uh, of the left side of the slide, you could see that what it's basically is to display in the same location, as I was saying before, uh, some uh, PV panels uh, that are combined with uh, agricultural activities. So um, you can take advantage of uh, uh, energy production and, and, and crop um, and crop producing. Uh, this way, um, in a kind of symbiosis, uh, theoretically, the uh, the PV production um, could give uh, or the PV system could give the the crop some kind of um, unanswered or improved uh, microclimate uh, performance. Um, the crop could be protected uh, for uh, extreme uh, conditions as uh, high or high radiance uh, seasons um, uh, in radiation and also um, heavy storms, uh, precipitations or whatever. So in this kind of, of, of systems, what we can um, obtain is uh, a, a high yield in, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, energy and agricultural production. As I was saying before, the agri PV application is uh, getting more and more uh, popular, and lots of different solutions are currently being developed, and some of them are already. Uh, available in the market. We wanted to, to show uh, here uh, that uh, solar PV for productive use applications uh, could be a lot of them. Um, agriculture applications, let's say, uh, seems to seem to us that uh, might be uh, a lot uh, within the African context. One of the most uh, versatile applications of PV is the smart mini grids uh, concept. Here in the picture, we are showing um, um, a small uh, mini grid uh, in Thambia, uh, where the energy is being uh, produced, then it's being distributed, um, uh, and then finally. Uh, consumed uh, by end users in, in different uh, kind of uh, applications. Another of the uh, probably most uh, relevant nexus of solar is uh, the one with, uh, with the water. Uh, in the current uh, slide, uh, you could see two of the most uh, promising applications for the African uh, context for us as uh, it could be the solar water treatment uh, solutions that can be powered by solar, not only from an electrical point of view, but also uh, from a water treatment point of view. And in the right side, you can uh, see also the, the possibility of using solar power water pumps for for, for obtaining water for irrigation uh, purposes uh, within agricultural activities. Another uh, relevant and huge potential uh, application is the is the, the food or the 
commercial application. Um, and within this slide, uh, we are sharing with you two, um, two commercial applications related to, to the food nexus. One is the food processing. There are lots of applications where, where, where the food should be processed and some energy is needed for that. In the left picture, you can see uh, a solar grain uh, milling application. And in the right side, uh, we are sharing with you a, a cooling application. So lots of uh, uh, food that is being processed or food that uh, will be processed uh, afterwards need to be um, need to be maintained uh, at low temperature. So for us, uh, the the cooling applications uh, driven by by solar might be also a relevant application for for the African context. So that's all from our side. Uh, I hope you might find this information uh, suitable and hopefully you can check also all the additional links we were sharing with you so you can um, you can have uh, enhanced uh, information afterwards. Thanks.